the child will not be there. In sociology, they call something inappropriate socialization and inadequate socialization. If your socialization is inappropriate, whose fault is that? It is yours. If your socialization is inadequate, whose fault is it? It is yours. You see, that is the reason why we do not need to blame anybody. And the first thing that people say, <laughs> This government is very, very insensitive to our plights. This government has been giving us help. This government has been... Yes, the government has been doing... What have you been doing for yourself? All what you have been doing is to be busy to be complaining. When you are supposed to act, you are supposed to move, you are supposed to change things, change everything that you want to change from your home. When you change it and people know the direction, have you forgotten that even there is no government uh, that will say it's totally insensitive? If they know the direction that you are going, that's what they are going to do. They are going to comply with what you want. So look at how many of us who are here today. Are we saying that we do not have the financial wherewithal for us to start a primary school? Are we thinking about it? We are only thinking about creating our own empires in our various elites. Mm -hmm. We are talking about quantity at the expense of quality. Yeah. You don't care whether your mother, whether they understand what they are doing there. You don't care whether any of them can even recite two stanzas in a job. What you want is I have 3,000 of my wo in my house. And the moment you hear that one of them had gone to another ILE for consultation, that person is in trouble. Mm -hmm. When I'm here, what do you mean? Why do you go there? You go to my enemy. How can a fellow I will be your own enemy? Mm -hmm. huh? Because I still can't understand. How can they be your own enemy? When what we speak out is Ifa. Mm -hmm. And don't forget that there is no language that does not have an element of Ifa. Even greetings, a car, good morning, is in Ifa. Erewa, that welcome, is in Ifa. Everything. So if that is the case, then how can your fellow Awu be your own enemy? All of us who have that notion, all of us who have been creating or nothing grudges against fellow Awu, this is the period for us to remove such grudge. This is the period for us to start to think about each other as brothers and sisters. And let us <coughs> move together. What I saw when I was reading about the various groups in this country, I realized that in the black and the Hispanic community, money does not stay. If you give money to a black man or an Hispanic man, once, the second time, the money is out of that community. Mm -hmm. And as opposed to the Chinese community, money exchange and 40 times before it moves out. What is really wrong with, that, with us? It is not our blood. It is not our makeup. It is the way we reason. Let us start, that's what I'm saying. Start with yourself. <laughs> Consider your body as a whole community and start to change it. Mm. If I give an example of when all the other body parts, that was in Osa Buleja, Osa on the right, Oguda on the left. When all the other body parts, when they decided to conspire against the mouth, they said that, the mouth had been the only organ in the body enjoying all the fruits of their labor. The leg says that the leg will go there to look for the food, the hand will carry the food to the mouth, the eyes will go there to see, the nose will be breathing for the hand, or the whole body will go there, and only the mouth will eat everything, then they conspired. We are not going to give any food to the mouth again. And they refused. Three days after the leg had become wobbly, the hands are shaking, 
the eyes are watery, the nose brings forth mucus. All of them knew that there was trouble. Then they went for a consultation. The first says, who among you have you conspired against? Oh, it is that stupid man said, that mouth is not stupid. It is the mouth that had been engineering everything that you have been doing. Go back to him. So if I recommended 20 yams, 30 water yams, and 50 yam siblings, they quickly went and bought it. They prepared 100 yam. And all of them were scrambling to give it to the mouth. The moment they gave it to the mouth, all of them became strong again. That is the way you should look at each other. Somebody must be the mouth. Somebody must be the nose. Somebody must be the eyes. Somebody must be the leg. Somebody must be the arms. That is the only way that we can survive. Have you ever seen the ant kingdom? Why is it that they are not conspiring against the, against the queen? Why were they not conspiring against the king? Why were the soldiers not going on strike? That they are not going to do it because they are the only ones who have been suffering while others are enjoying. That is the way we must build our community. We know those who are good for certain things. Yeah. Why can't we give them the opportunity to do it and let us encourage them? Uh, you see, we have gone beyond the level of thinking that somebody will outshine me. Yes. Among the Israelis, they formed what is known as the kibbutzim. <coughs> and they put their children there, they train their children. Who is getting the reward? It's the state. It's not because somebody created it, then that person will use it to outshine us. Nobody's thinking that way. Why should we be thinking that way? This is ours. And when we talk of the group in this world who have the compendium of knowledge, it is the fact. Why should we use that? And look at the other religions in the world, the so-called two major religions. When you remove them from this world today, 85% of all the problems of the world are solved. <laughs> is that not a fact? But so if we know that, and ours is a religion of peace, are we prepared to replace that? Are we prepared to replace violence with peace? Instead, we are still doing our own internal rancor. We are still fighting, petty fight. You see, the kind of fight that we do is like small children fight. The fight that we should, our level of intelligence, our level of knowledge are already above, and yet we condescend so low. That is what we are doing. Some of us, what they complain about is what they had done to us when they brought us to this level. Let us move beyond that. Let us show them that even in spite of that, we can be greater than them. And we have the weapon. Our weapon is the fact. Why can't we use it? How many of us here can recite just hundred stanzas of Ifa? From whatever we do, I don't care how many of us. We are not ready to study. We are only ready to tell the world that I am an Ifa priest. Most of us, we have bigger agwada than the one that Olumila wore when he was alive. <laughs> we have beads bigger than the ones that all the Olumilas were wearing. And you can be sure we love titles. Yes. Ifa is the religion where people love titles a lot. <laughs> and apart from that, you realize that the number of title holders in Ifa, they are more than the number of those who have no title. <laughs> Even some of them will be asking me, why is it that you are not using Bibs? Bibs does not make me a Babala. What makes me a Babala is within. Sure. So forget about external decorations. Sure. Let us purify our minds. Ah, when we purify our minds, let us come out sparkling. You will see that people will respect us. Oh. If you are initiated into Ifa or into Orisha, what you have done is you have signed an agreement with Olodumare that you want to be the servant of the community. Mm -hmm. But what do we do? We turn ourselves to the master. <laughs> we want to call the shot. We have lost our rights to call the shot. 
What we have said was that I'm going to listen to what the community is saying and I'm going to follow. All what you need to do is to act like the duck. Have you ever seen the duck and the ducklings? The ducklings are always in front. The duck will be coming from behind. That is the position that all of us are supposed to be. Are we ready to take that? But instead, you want to tell, yes, these are all my Omawus. I have 2,000 Omawu, and so what? After having the 2,000 Omawu, what effect have you made sure that they put on the community? Oh. How many people have you ever assisted with your 2,000 Omawu? All what you want is for them to bring money to you alone. And in Iwo, Iwo, Iwo on the right, or she on the left. If I said, or oh, what is the only thing in this world that must not be given recognition? And that is what we consider to be our God. So, where are we going? Now let us summarize, so that when you have questions, one, you must have a community that other people must envy. And you must sell the ideals of that community to the larger society for them to emulate. You must build that community on the foundation of honesty, truthfulness, patience, benevolence, loyalty, and so forth. That is when we can say that we have a community. And that is when other people can emulate us. We must stop all these big criminals. We cannot use it to achieve anything. This world is becoming more and more violent because we are giving vent to anger. Ibabalao must not be angry. Although Ibabalao says that Ibabalao can't be angry. Ibabalao says that when somebody has done you anything that you don't like, you need to wait for 16 years before you revenge. And Ibabalao says that if you revenge after three years, you are too quick tempered. And what do you think that is suggesting? Forget! Sometimes, before the 16 years, you may not even remember what happened. So that's what we are saying, that forget it and move forward. Don't think about it. Move forward. When you move forward, you may even achieve more than you think. So that is what I feel that we need to do now. We are in a world we are people are looking at us for solution, but we are not doing it. Have you ever seen a situation that when something bad happens to an Orisha or if a devotee, the first thing that people will ask is, did they if I not see it? <laughs> Can they see it? But if it happens to a Christian or a Muslim, it is the wish of God. Meaning that they know that you have the capability to know before it happens. And that's what the fact said. A disaster is not supposed to happen to a true devotee of Ifa. Because you would have been forewarned. It's only if you don't consult your Ifa. And if you don't consult Ifa, Ifa has another way of showing you. It will come in your dreams. It will come in your intuition. And that will force you to go to Ifa. Or if you do a Ifa, you will see that the OB will not be accepted. You will pray, you will throw and throw and throw until you will not be accepted. Just ask, if, just ask the OB, can I go for Ifa consultation? You will see that you will say yes. It is because something disastrous is about to happen, and it must not happen, because they are going to use you to abuse Ifa. And that is all that Ifa is trying to avoid. You must not be used to, have, to abuse Ifa. So when you go for Ifa consultation, that is another thing entirely. That's why we said that all of us must learn, because I come, you come to me, I cast the fact, I don't even know what the fact said. Of course, I will make some things up. And after making it up, it sounds like something that you believe in. I told you, you need to bring money. You brought money. And I immediately left down. If I cast the same Ifa for myself, am I going to tell myself the same lies? <laughs> so it is because of ourselves that we must learn Ifa. So that we will be able to solve our own solution. It got to